what's up it's joe rady from rady's rides i'm back here at dream giveaway garage and guess what we have the ultimate in performance subaru comparisons i'm actually going to compare my very own 2018 wrx sti type ra against the all new s209 but before we dive into these two cars let's talk about what they represent so these are two of the most iconic current generations of the STI. Type RA, what does that mean? Does it stand for, is that like short for Rady's Rise? No, RA stands for record attempt. So Subaru wanted to kind of celebrate their record breaking attempt at the Nürburgring for the fastest four door car. They did it and this is how they wanted to celebrate with the Type RA. Some very, very special touches, only made 500 of them. Now with the S209, this is actually the first time that they brought an S model to the car. Just like the Type RA, this is the first time there's been other Type RAs only available in Japan. This is the first for the US market. S209, this is the utmost pinnacle of performance. And what's crazy is, is like I said, not only is it the first time here in the United States, it's the only, we are the only country where this car is available. What I wanna do is I really wanna show what makes these cars so unique and really are you getting that performance advantage going the S209? Because there are some really great Type RAs that are available at awesome prices currently. So let's go ahead, dive into these two, and see really, are these the most iconic of all the Subarus? Right off the bat, let's start with the S209. It's all new. This is actually marked as a 2019 model year. It's not a 2020. You'll notice on the S209, you have totally different reworked air intakes. You have this nice mesh grill area, flat black, and some chrome, which believe it or not, at first I didn't like the chrome. I actually zonked it. It's growing on me. Now on the corner here, you're going to notice two aerodynamic devices. Those are called canards. That's going to actually help give us downforce as we are going around the track or down your favorite twisty road. That is stuff that Subaru developed on the racetrack. Now up top, you still get those same great headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and then you're gonna have the LED adaptive headlights that actually turn with the steering wheel. Now, as we kind of back away, I wanna show you the front grill area. So this grill design dates back to 2018. That's when they did a refresh, just like on my Type RA. So they kind of squished it down and stretched it out. You have that cherry blossom color striping, and then we have our S209 badge over here, like I said, first time ever having that S209 here in the United States. That lower splitter, nice large Subaru splitter. You have the STI badge there. If you have a WRX or an STI, you could actually order this same splitter from their parts catalog and put it on your own. Dream Giveaway Garage added that extra stripe to kind of try to match what was going on with the cherry blossom. Going up onto the hood, massive air intake. Underneath that is the intercooler. So this is a functional piece. When we talk S209, only two colors available. Crystal White Pearl and World Rally Blue. On the Type RA, you actually have three. You have Crystal White Pearl, World Rally Blue, and also the black. Since we're talking about Type RA, let's go ahead and dive into this one. So you'll see same hood, same massive air take, functional. We drop down, you're gonna get the exact same grill with that cherry blossom striping, here's the difference. Instead of an S209 badge, you have the STI badge, stands for Subaru Technica International. 2018, this whole front fascia was redesigned. More aggressive, they really enlarged this lower air intake for the radiator. I love the elements with the horizontal flat black all the way around. And then you're gonna get the same front splitter that's off the S209, also on the Type RA. My big zonk, and yes, I'm gonna zonk my own car, are the redesign intakes on each corner. Very, very small functional opening here. The rest of it is all blocked off, and it really looks super plasticky and not really my favorite. So that was my one hangup with, well, there's a couple other, but this is the major hangup. Same LED daytime running lamps, LED headlights that are gonna move with the steering wheel, and as you can see, this is like a narrow body because we don't have any aerodynamic aid or flared fender. But why don't we go ahead, we start off on the front, let's take a lap around each of these Subarus and see where they really stand out. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with my Type RA. Like I said, this came out in 2018. As we come around the bend, no flared fender like 
you're going to see on the S209. What they did bring back though were the gold Forge BBS wheels. So this is a 19 inch wheel Forge. It's 19 by 9 inches wide. You're looking at 245 on the actual width and 35 series sidewall. They also, on the Type RA, went bright silver with those six piston Brembo calipers. I love the STI script, all in black. And then you're gonna get those cross drilled and fully ventilated rotors. For the first time, there's some firsts with this car. This is actually the first time, 2018 was the first time that you had a six piston Brembo caliper. Also, only on the Type RA at the time, this is the first one to have the Bilstein dampers all four corners. And I'm telling you right now, not only do they make a difference when the road gets twisty, but even daily driving, I really love the suspension on this Type RA. Now, as we go into the fender, you can see on the Type RA, they have the blacked out badge with the Cherry Blossom STI color. You're gonna have the metallic black on your mirror caps. And then this was the first ever Subaru, period, to have a full carbon fiber roof. So what they did was, is by doing carbon fiber that actually is about eight pounds shed off the top of this car that's gonna lower your center of gravity and the carbon fiber roof actually stiffens the structure, makes it a more rigid vehicle for better handling. You're gonna have that same, just like any other 2015 to 2020 STI, because that's the year of this generation. You're gonna have that same massive sill that extends out. As we work our way back, black shark fin, that's another way to tell that they went black shark fin to kind of match it with the carbon fiber. And then when we get to the back, you're gonna have these functional rear air uh, ducts, which gives it that extra nice element. If you look at, say, the Red Bull Global Rally Cross car or their Nürburgring racing car, same exact design brought into that rear bumper area. And then when we get to the back, first time ever where a Subaru STI has this full carbon fiber uh, wing. I love on the end plates how it has that STI script there. Really, really nice. Two-way adjustable, so you could actually pivot this wing higher or lower depending on if you want more downforce or less downforce because this is a car they want to make it more track focused as we drop down you're still going to get the same led brake lights subaru badging with the all-wheel drive exact rear diffuser the major difference out back of course is going to be the cherry blossom color stripe just the, on the on the grill they brought it to the back to kind of match it up i wish we would have got from the factory those euro Japanese style um, fog lights down below, but we just have this little plastic fake vent, so I am gonna zonk that. And then, of course, you have the Type RA badge. Remember, RA stands for record attempt with your STI badge. But while we go ahead, let's get to the S209 and see what makes it so different. All right, guys, time to take a lap around the S209, see what's different from my Type RA. Like I already pointed out, you're gonna have these two canards here that has been added on. This fender area from here to here is actually all metal. So this is a unique piece, flared fender, just for the S209. You even have a side vent here that is functional that I do not have on my Type RA. The massive badging here, STI with the S209, something unique to kind of blend in the flared fender with the stock lower portion. Now, when we talk wheel and tire setup, here's something that's gonna surprise you. You look at this, you're gonna say, oh, that's the same exact wheel, close but not close enough. This is a Forge BBS wheel. Remember, Forge is lighter than cast, but this wheel is actually 19 inches in diameter, but nine and a half inches wide. So what that means is, is on this car, you're gonna have 265 on the width. So you actually have a wider wheel and tire setup, hence the need for the flared fender uh, location. You're gonna have the same six piston Brembo caliper. What's different, I'm gonna see if Victor could kinda come around and show you. See the bright cherry blossom color there? Those are STI specific pads for this car. So this car has a totally different brake pad compound than my Type RA. Now, it does have the Bilstein dampers, just like my car does. The difference is, is you're gonna have STI springs that actually lowers the car a little bit. And then when it comes to sway bars, bigger, thicker sway bars on the S209 compared to the Type RA to make it handle even more superb. Now, as we go down the side, you're gonna have the gloss black on the mirror caps, same carbon fiber roof, shaving that eight pounds, making a more 
rigid structure. One thing that you do get with the S209 is you see down here, this lower sill extension. This is the whole kit from front to back from Subaru. You can see the S209 badge here. Dream Giveaway put a little bit of red striping just to make it pop a little bit, but that is something that is unique to the S209 over the Type R8. Now you can't order that from the parts catalog, but this is how it came from the factory. Now, as we channel our way back towards the rear fender, you can see how they flared out this rear portion. I'm gonna kind of have maybe Victor swing around forward and show off the, the actual width that we're talking about. Because remember, wheels are wider, so they took that flared fender all the way back. And remember, this is unique pieces only to this car. They even notched out the fender flare to make room for that rear vent, just like on my Type RA, it's on the S209. And here's the rear splats for your aerodynamic aid from front, from the splitter, to the side sill, to the rear bumper area. And then guess what? Carbon fiber rear wing. Now here's something different. Same element in the middle. What's different are the end plates. Totally different, reworked for better aerodynamic efficiency. I love the S209 badge. And also two-way positionable. We drop down. One thing you'll notice besides the Subaru badge, it does not say Subaru anywhere. This chassis is actually, the frame is made at Subaru. Then they wheel it over to the Skunk Works facility, the STI Skunk Works facility. And this thing is pretty much hand assembled, has a totally different window sticker and it says STI. So you have your S209 badge and only STI on the back. You drop down, exhaust may look the same, but it's not. They're actually a little bit larger in diameter. A Japanese jewelry uh, designer actually hand polishes the four tips and they are less restrictive. The Type RA was already less restrictive over your standard STI. These are even less restrictive. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hoods of these two rally cars and see how they, they're different. All right, guys, we got the hoods popped. Let's start with my Type RA. Underneath the hood is that 2.5 liter flat four turbocharged engine. This is the older style EJ motor. It's not the FA motor like out of the WRX. What are we talking about horsepower? They changed the pistons. They reworked third gear in the transmission and you got five extra horsepower. So 310 horsepower, 290 pound feet of torque. It's all routed through that amazing bulletproof six speed manual transmission. The car weighs 3,388 pounds. If you know how to dance on your twinkle toes, zero to 60 in about 4.9 seconds, quarter mile in around 13.2. And what really makes this year unique is like I said, those revised pistons that's unique to this Type RA for 2018. Now in 2019, there were some adaptations from this design, but what I always love is just how clean and open everything is underneath the hood. Now, when we go S209, here's where we have some big differences. Let's start over here in the corner. You're gonna have this totally revised air box. So this whole portion is all different from my Type RA, different air intake section here. All the work going with the tubing into the intake plenum. I don't know if you noticed, but S209s, they only made 209 of them. So we have a nice number plate over there. Intercooler is the same. What's gonna be different is the turbocharger. So the S209 has an HKS turbocharger, 341 horsepower, 330 pound-feet of torque. Still made it through that same bulletproof six-speed manual transmission. You're gonna get an upgraded fuel pump, fuel injectors, remapped ECU, a lighter weight uh, flywheel, lower restriction on the exhaust system, and you have the return of the intercooler sprayer. So if we look at the hood scoop here, you see these two hoses? That's actually gonna allow you to spray cold water on that intercooler. Now, if you notice another thing that they added was this massive STI strut tower brace. Looks good, it stiffens up the front end of the business. And that's the thing, there's so much that I can't show you because it's underneath the car or underneath the bodywork where they actually reworked the rigidity of the chassis to make it better handling. But while we go ahead, let's fire up these two and see how they sound different.
All right, guys, we're inside my very own Type RA. Now, with this Subaru, back in 2018, this was the most expensive Subaru at the time. MSRP, brand new, was $50,999. I know it seemed like a lot of money two years ago, but wait until you hear the price of the S209. Let's see what you get for the money. Remember, this is one of 500. Let's go to the door panels. Now, I love the way, just like on your regular STI, they got the Alcantara. The nice red stitch work looks really clean. And then of course you have that small pocket down there where you could put you know, a hamburger, maybe a hot dog from 7-Eleven or something. When you come to the dash, you get gloss black, no Type RA badge. I'm zonking here, it would have been nice if it said Type RA somewhere here. Same exact infotainment system setup. So you're gonna get that wonderful uh, boost gauge up top. You could scroll through a plethora of different readouts. As you drop down, you have your Starlink system. What's interesting is on the Type RA, no navigation or anything like that. They deleted all that to try to save weight. You do have the bright red start stop button. That is unique to the Type RA at the time. And then of course, you're gonna get that same slick shifting, six speed manual transmission, just like out of any STI. Obviously it has a short throw shifter. My car is number 55 out of 500 and you get a very tasteful STI Type RA badge. Of course, you're going to have, just like any other STI, Sport, Sport Sharp, and Intelligent Mode, and the DCC, the, excuse me, the DCCD, which is that electronic controls for the differential, and then the seats, Recaro seats. Now, the sad news is, in the Zonk, is just the backs that are Recaro, um, and they're not, they could be a little bit more aggressive on the bolstering, but you have the red, which looks really good, same stock seat on the bottom and that really is the zonk to, to me but you can see the bolstering is nothing too aggressive it's a little bit more but still nothing like a recaro out of my focus rs that i used to own and of course for 2018 you get the nice bright red uh seat belts which is great but while we go ahead and i almost forgot the last thing before we jump over there alcantara wrap steering wheel so you on type ra you get an Alcantara wrap steering wheel with the gloss black and the STI badge, flat bottom, love the thickness on them, really perfect fit. But why don't we go ahead, we've seen what you get with the Type RA, let's see what you're getting more on the S209. All right guys, we're in the S209, we're comparing this to my Type RA. I know you're wondering, well Joe, if your car was $50,999 brand new, how much is this one? This one, MSRP is 63000 $999. The great news is that you could win this very car from Dream Giveaway Garage. One of 209, that one was one of 500, this is one of 209. Let's see what you get. Now, door panels I'm gonna show on the Alcantara. Instead of the red stitch work, you get this off-white, which looks really, really good, especially on the armrest with the Alcantara. When we come to the dash, same dash, except now you're getting this red trim instead of the gloss black. They did give you an S209 badge. So I didn't get a Type RA badge, but you did get an S209 badge there. We have our gauge cluster up top, which you can scroll through a cornucopia, a smorgasbord of different information. As we work our way down, same Starlink system without navigation, same exact bright red start stop button. Steering wheel, if you notice, we have paddles. Now this isn't an automatic, but they took these off the CVT say Outback or Crosstrek, this is your intercooler sprayer. You have a jug in the trunk, which I'll show you that in a second, and you can spray cool water on your intercooler. Different shift knob, this shift knob is actually specific to the S209. And then of course you're gonna get this tasteful S209 badge, this is number 153 of the 209. Same SI drive, same DCC D controls, and then you're gonna get that stitch work, the nice off-white, you can see it here on the bolstering. Beautiful STI embroidery, which I did not have on my Type RA, it says S209 on the headrest. And then as we work our way down, the back of the seat is exactly the same. So same seat, just different material. And the bottom, I'm gonna zonk, is the same as an STI. They should have went a little bit more aggressive on this more track focus. And then of course, you have your red seat belts, just like in my Type RA. I think the biggest change, obviously, is gonna be the colors the sprayers, still an Alcantara wrap steering wheel, but you're getting the contrast stitching just like you're getting here, that grayish off-white color. Other than that, everything is laid out the same. I wanna show you the trunk in the S209 because there's something unique to it, and then we're gonna take these two bad boys for a spin. All right, guys, time to open up the trunk on the S209. 
We lift it up, same exact trunk, great opening, great size. The one thing that's different, I'm gonna have Victor kind of earn his keep here, is you see that cherry blossom bar there? That's a, a flexible strut tower brace. What that it does is it actually ties in the rear shock top mounts, just like we have the one up front, but this one actually allows for some flex because you don't want a totally rigid chassis. You want to have some flex to allow the car to do its thing. But this is something that's unique, S209, that you're not going to get on the Type RA. And then underneath all of this bodywork is going to be a stiffer rear anti-roll bar. So we talked about up front, stiffer rear anti-roll bar, stiffer bar back here as well. And on top of that, the rack and pinion, which both of these still have that hydraulically assist rock, rack and pinion. On this S209, it's a little bit quicker steering than on the Type RA. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take these two iconic Subarus for a spin. All right, guys, we're gonna start off in my Type RA. One thing I wanna point out is that the Type RA is actually lighter than the S209 because the S209 has a lot of extra pieces that have been added. Well, guess what? That adds extra weight. And that's something to take into consideration is that does the extra horsepower in the S209 negate the extra weight that you have? So something to kind of take into consideration. Really, the S209 should have had about 400 horsepower. That really, I think, would have made a lot of people extra, extra happy. Even though I can appreciate it for what it is based off of it uh, being a hand-assembled Subaru that does not come from the standard factory. But one of the things I love about my Type RA is just how wonderful it is to experience the six speed, the visibility in this car, whether it's the S209 or my Type RA or any WRX or STI is absolutely phenomenal in these cars and uh, really allows you to hit your marks as you're going down your favorite twisty road or doing an autocross event or a track day event. All right guys, let's see how she does. On throttle, second gear, you wait for the boost to come in. Love that short throw shifter. Really grips the road well. Those massive calipers clamp down nicely and just shed speed. And the car really has a nice balance to it. That's what I've always liked about Subarus. They really corner flat and they're very, very balanced. And with the Type RA, having the Bilstein and dampers, that, that makes a big difference. All right, guys, here we go. On throttle, first gear, in a second. Love the feeling, short throw shifter. Just puts a nice smile on your face and really has that old school turbo rally car feel to it. And that is what is so unique about this whole experience. Brakes feel great, the steering is wonderful. It, you know, if you've never driven a car with hydraulic steering, it gives you such feedback that you're just not used to. You don't get out of an electric uh, steering rack. It's, it's quite crazy to think that it was a move backwards to go electric, but hydraulic steering is great. Go around this right-hand bend. All-wheel drive doing its thing. It puts a smile on your face. It really, really does. All right, guys, let's get into this tight left-hand bend on the brakes. Downshift, really nice. Really planted. Here we go, on throttle. Get a little beeping from that alert to shift. Just a really great setup, and I'm telling you, the extra arrow helps you more be more planted. That wing is not just for looks. As you get up to speed, it actually provides usable downforce. And what I like about it is that you can uh, have a little bit more depending on what track you're at or a little bit less, depending on the straightaways and whatnot. All right, guys, one last time. Here we go through this left-hand band on throttle. Feeling good, here we go. Holding that pavement, look at this. All wheel drive, that's what it's all about right there. Look at that. Just clawing at the asphalt. That's what makes this car so unique. Such a flat cornering car and really Subaru has this all wheel drive system that gives great feedback yet plenty of stick as well. So we're gonna go ahead, get into the S209, swap seats 
and see how they perform differently. All right, guys, we switched. We're in the S209 on throttle, first gear, in a second. You can definitely feel the engine rev up faster because of the lighter flywheel compared to my Type RA, but still not having that huge amount of extra oomph um, over the Type RA, especially at lower speed because of uh, the extra weight. But now remember, where this car is gonna shine is at the track. You run both of them back to back, you're gonna have faster times in the S209. If everything else is equal, you're gonna have faster times in this car. Let me make a quick U-turn on throttle. Here we go, first gear. Really hunkers down nicely. Super solid feel all the way around this bend. The pads, I'm telling you right now, if you know what you're feeling for, when you get on the brake pedal, the pads have a little extra bite. That's gonna be really nice, especially after a long straightaway. You get on the binders, you're gonna want that extra bite to help slow you down, and also with, with, uh, with heat and whatnot. So that's another thing to take into consideration with the S209 over the Type RA. The great news is, is that they both have the same great clutch great transmission which makes driving them a pleasure on throttle on the brakes look at that you see that bite second gear feeling good into this right hand bend there we go on throttle so I could definitely feel the difference in the steering. You got a quicker steering rack. The engine is revving a little quicker and much more planted feel for sure. It's just, if you're looking for some kind of like huge difference in acceleration, you're just not gonna have it. You're just not gonna have it. This car needs to have about 400 horsepower to make up for that extra weight. But on throttle, here we go. All the way around. Nice and planted, look at that. Super smooth. Back on the brakes. Feels good. Feels really good, very controllable. Let me make a U-turn here. We're gonna, our little fun road has that construction on it, so we kind of have to work around it, but second gear, here we go, on throttle. Now, if you're not smooth with your steering input, it's gonna feel a little jerky. It's gonna feel uh, a, a little snappy on you. So you gotta be ultra smooth with the hands as you're turning the steering wheel because of the quicker rack, the rack on this car. Boy, is it controllable and is it fun? It's a ton of fun. Of course, I like it to be a little bit louder. That would be nice, especially with the beautiful, I mean, the exhausts look beautiful. You could tell a jeweler hand polished them. Would be nice to have a little bit more of that boxer rumble, especially with the old DJ motor, because you have the unequal length headers. You can get that boxer rumble very, very easily with this car. Would have been nice to have that in this particular one. All right, guys, here we go. On throttle, third gear. Really love the gearbox in these cars. Yeah, nice and planted. Look at that, love it. Absolutely, positively love it. Shed speed, nice and quick. Really spot on the money. Really, really spot on the money. I think it's not on a dime since we're talking about money. All right guys, here we go, on throttle. Feeling good, on the brakes. Nice, down shift. All-wheel drive keeps us planted. Really loving these cars. I love what they stand for, that old school turbocharged fun, turbocharged feel, and something both of these so unique. Obviously the S209, a lot more unique, a lot more special than my Type RA, but still both of them have 
an interesting personality uh, that surprises me. I, I, I thought that they'd be really, really, really similar, but you get a nice blending here of the two. But we're gonna go ahead and get back to Dream Giveaway Garage and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another wonderful day here at Dream Giveaway Garage. I definitely gotta thank Lori, Chris, Blake, Boomer, the rest of the crew. I got to bring out my Type RA, you got to see her again, and we got to compare to the S209. You could see the differences, you could see the advantages, and that's one of the great things is, is that when you look at the price of this, everybody wants more horsepower, but remember, the engine is hand assembled, a lot of the body is hand assembled, and it's a car that really is designed for that true Subaru enthusiast. Same thing with the Type RA. Obviously, with the Type RA, now that it's pre-owned, you could find some really great deals, but it's gonna be interesting to see where these two wind up way down the road when it comes to values. But if it's comparisons like these that you wanna keep seeing on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch, gotta give it up to Victor out here in the hot Florida sun, getting two Subarus, all for you guys. He did such a great job. Show him some love in the comments, and just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.